Hello, hello. Welcome to the Cooking Swiss. We're enjoying another kind of dreary New Jersey mid-spring day. And I decided to cook something simple and quick. So we're going to turn this suddenly salad pasta mix into a really delicious salad. Um, I defrosted some ham and let's see where it takes us. It's completely inspired, improvised, let's say, improvised. So here is the ham that is defrosted from, uh, it's leftover ham from our Easter ham, basically. And uh, I found snow peas, or these are called, I believe, Chinese peas, maybe. They're not that popular here, but I am going to cook them and incorporate them also into the pasta salad. The first thing we have to do with these snow peas, we have to give it a quick rinse. And then the next step is absolutely important. So I'm placing this here. I'm grabbing one. And you have to kind of peel this. Because see there is a long string that comes off. And if you skip that step, they're not going to be as delicious as, you know, otherwise. So again, you just kind of pull it. And you keep going. You see, this one was very... Yeah, you, you, you have to do it. Otherwise, they are very, you know, stringy and just not very delicious. This is how it looks like when it's all uh, done and peeled. And here we have a whole mountain of these uh, strings. And I'm in the process of cooking the pasta. So the water boiled. And now um, I already salted it a little bit. And we are pouring this pasta in. And because it's so little, I'm also finishing up this. And I guess uh, we're going to boil it for about 11 minutes. We'll just follow the directions on the, uh, on the box. For dressing, we are using the pouch that is included. It contains a little bit of bacon. Just enough for the flavor, and it says a quarter cup of mayonnaise. No, just kind of like ballpark it. We can always add more. Another item that I like to add in is carrots, and I finely grate the carrots, and it gives it also a nice color. So obviously we're going to peel the carrots. For grating, I like to use this really fine grade. So it's kind of annoying. But you see how uh, it is going to be very fine. Because I, I don't want you guys to get sick because the camera is shaking. And so I just finished grating the carrots and this is how it looks like. Very fine. Thin, thinly <laughs> grated and uh, we're obviously putting this in and we can mix this up there we are 
that was not good. That's why there are handles. I'll show you everything how not to do. My son is laughing in the background. <laughs> yeah, so we are draining the pasta. Luckily, it was just, it wasn't, I didn't get burned really. So we'll rinse it a little bit. And I like to, even when it's still hot, already put it in. Mostly just as soon as it's drained enough, I'll put it in. I like to put the pasta in uh, when it's still warm and mix it with the dressing for pasta salad because I think then the flavor goes better in the, the dressing. So now I'm cutting up the ham and I'm using like this knife set for carving knife set. And it's the same one that we use for turkey. I love it because it cuts really well. It's by Victorinox. I inherited it from uh, my great grand aunt when she passed away. I'm like, sure, I want it. I take it. New, when you buy this new, it costs about $150 just so these are very popular wedding gifts my friends when they get married I usually give them a set Torinox set I think it's the best all right I just finished uh, cutting up the ham and we are putting it in I might have to upgrade to a bigger bowl I don't know if it's going to be able to hold everything yeah it's getting a little bit tight here and we still have more stuff to put in <laughs> so I might change the bowl I decided to actually cut these in half because um, usually, you know, you wouldn't do that. You would, would eat it uh, lengthwise, but I'm going to cut them in half because I think it's going to mix easier into the salad. So I'm going to do that right now. All right, so I even got the wok out. Let's see how that's going to work. Um, so we're putting some oil in it. You could also use butter, but since we're using the wok, we're doing oil, but if you use a regular um, frying pan, you just use, uh, you can butter. And we're letting this heat up a little bit. So they say to test it and putting one in, There's no bubbles coming up. So I don't think it's hot enough. I guess we'll try again. Oh yeah, now it's hot enough. So we're steaming this for about 15 minutes or sauteing 15 minutes 15 seconds <laughs> being European we always have a tendency of like overcooking it a little bit but I'm trying to keep it as short as possible also chopped up a little bit of garlic. Another 15 seconds and then we call it done. Mm. 
not in European cuisine, let's also add a little bit of pepper. And if you were to just eat it sim uh, just like this, not put it in the salad, then you also add on a little bit of salt and you can use this as a side vegetable. All right, I think we're done. So, by the way, I found this walk at the um, Salvation Army for five bucks. That was a great find. So it looks awesome with the green in here and really delicious. I don't know if I'm going to call it done or if I add a little bit more something else. Yeah, I think, I think I'm good with it. And for us, this is going to be dinner. This is a full meal. It does contain vegetables, meat, and a starch. So I hope you enjoyed this little video of gives you any ideas of what to, uh, you know, how to make suddenly salad, enhance it a little bit with other uh, flavors and vegetables. And give, I hope you're going to give this video a thumbs up. Come back for more. Please subscribe and have a great evening. Bye.